5 Reasons Why Fans Are Petitioning To Get Dr. Pimple Popper Off Of TV Forever Hey guys, welcome back to Film Title. Today we'll talk about why fans are petitioning to get Dr. Pimple Popper off of TV. Let's head into it. Number 5. Who is Dr. Pimple Popper? Sandra Lee is a doctor, a real doctor. For all the TV stars in the world out there, it can be difficult to say who's real and who's just playing a part for the screens. Sandra Lee is a board certified dermatologist with a medical school degree. To put it another way, she is the real deal. She's a member of the American Society for Dermatological Surgery and presented her research at academic conferences. And how did a dermatologist end up with her own TV show where most people turn in and get grossed out? Currently, YouTube is the unlikely response. Starting around 2010, Lee posted videos featuring skin extractions on her own YouTube channel. The knowledge videos didn't become a wide success until five years later, when audiences began sharing their work wider. That's the manner in which the moniker Dr. Pimple Popper came to be, and she soon shared her work using that name through multiple social media sites. Ha crecido un poco y está durito de aquí, y de aquí está aguadito. Number 4. TLC approached Sandra Lee about a show In reality, TLC has a big force in the world of television. TLC once stood for The Learning Channel, a member of the Discovery Group, but when Discovery acquired it in 1991, they added even more reality TV programming to the schedule. At first, these shows still matched the educational theme of the company, but the advent of medical dramas changed the game in the mid-1990s. As mentioned by Business Insider, shows like Trauma, Life in the ER, Proof viewers had a hunger for real-life dramas. Also, the channel began introducing DIY shows on home improvement. In 1998, the whole channel was rebranded as simply TLC, and the content was quickly transformed. All the children's programming went elsewhere in the world of Discovery, and TLC became gradually a place to find over-the-top dramas and up-close and personal looks at the lives of reality TV stars. All this has made the channel a great match for Lee's pimple-popping voyeur audience. She inked a deal with TLC in 2018, which granted her her own show, Dr. Pimple Popper. The series is an extension of her famous videos on social media and it offers viewers a closer look at some dermatological odds and educates them about best skincare practices. Ew. Yeah. How long have you had this friend of yours? The first time I noticed it, I was like nine years old. Number three, respect by patients. Nowadays, everybody needs Dr. Sandra Lee to deal with their skin problems. Celebrities haven't been bold enough to go to Lee and remove items from their bodies, but the doc has called other disorders after notables. Recently, Lee has demonstrated live surgery of removing an epidermoid cyst from a man's chest. Some users on Lee's YouTube page saw Kelly Clarkson epidermoid cyst and thought it was Clarkson herself. It turns out that Lee just called it that because Clarkson had a similar cyst last year, including making a burst on her ovary while commenting on The Voice. Maybe Lee's gained enough confidence in her audience that celebrities would begin to appear on the show. Even though she acknowledges that she's not immune to the many gross items she avoids, that doesn't mean that she wouldn't give the same respect to anyone popular as she does to her regular clients. There's no question that many dermatologists are not as well controlled as Lee is, providing evidence that she might be the best dermatologist working today in America. Millions of people love her for her work and enjoy watching her show, but there are also people who see it differently. My name is Doris and I'm from London, Ontario, Canada. And I have a 55 year old black head. Number 2. Petition against Dr. Pimple Popper. There seems to be a lot of people that have a problem with the Dr. Pimple Popper show being on TV. Therefore, a petition against Dr. Pimple Popper commercials on TLC was started. The petition is called Stop Dr. Pimple Popper Graphic Commercials on TLC. It was started by Maya Batty. She describes her petition with the following words. This petition is to stop airing the graphic Dr. Pimple Popper commercials that show procedures plus ETC. I have nothing against the show and I think she helps many people, but as someone who's undergone similar surgeries, the commercials are hard to watch and triggering. I watch so many shows on TLC so it isn't easy to just not watch TLC, as some people have suggested when I'm watching other shows on TLC. If they aren't able to remove them, at least put a viewer discretion or warning so we know they're coming. Thank you. 61 people have already signed the petition. Number 1. Other Opinions Let's see what some other people who signed the petition have to say about it. Sabrina Green writes, Some people just don't want to see it, especially when they're eating their dinner. It's nasty. Owen Anderson says, I was eating dinner and an ad for Dr. Pimple Popper came up and I almost threw up. Molly Matties notes, It's very disturbing to see these commercials on television. Sandra Lynn says the following, I should not be forced to see this as often as I do. Bianca Jerome writes, I find TLC's commercial for Dr. Pimple Popper revolting due to its graphic nature. What do you think about the petition? Should Dr. Pimple Popper be cancelled, or at least commercial for the show? Or are you against the petition? Let us know in the comments down below. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen, because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.